Good morning. Welcome back to Madrid, Spain. For now, we are back at the train station and it's a different environment than what we saw the other day so when we went to Sevilla. Different. My gosh, there's like light. It's not super early in the morning. It's still kind of early. It's 1020, but there is light and the train station has some more life to it. Park and doors. Yeah, so as we mentioned in the gardens, I mean, there's parks and open spaces everywhere. And even the train station is no exception. They have this indoor park, garden, open space. I mean, this is entirely indoors. But now you really can see the architecture of European train station. And it, it is very familiar. I mean, insert any train station name here. They're all quite similar. Oh, and there's pigeons everywhere. Look, they're all nestled up there. Yeah. So we don't have a platform assigned yet, so we're just kind of hanging around. And we're gonna just see what the station has. Walk around, see what's up. Check out the body shop. Yeah. Actually, I don't know that we've said where we're going yet. I mean, I'm sure it's in the thumbnail or title, but... Which you better be reading, by the way. We are going to... Toledo. You said it a lot better than I would have. <laughs> so I would have said Toledo. Yeah, and luckily it's about 75 kilometers from here. Yeah, so the, the train, I think, is 20-something minutes, yeah. the, the ride. So it won't be too bad. So we'll see what's up there. But yeah, let's go roam around the train station for a bit. come here by train as soon as you get off there's a sightseeing bus that can take you around and I think we overheard that if you stay on the bus it'll take you 40 minutes to go through the is this a city or is it just a town um, or a I municipality it's, of sorts maybe it's a city maybe okay we'll have to check yeah. but 40 minutes to go through the whole thing so we figured we'll just give ourselves a walking tour kind of see what's going on Get check our exercise out, on. Check out the sites. Of course, get some coffee, some snacks, some food. No, I think I'm already ready for my first snack of the day. Let's get to it. Let's do it. It looks like there's a lot of climbing involved. Look at all those buildings up on the hill. I don't know that I was told that there would be high elevations here. I mean, if I told you, would you have come? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be that high. I think once we get up there, you won't even really care. But we're starting out with a really famous bridge to get into city center. So that's what we're walking towards now. All right, coming up onto this bridge here. What did you say it was? It was El Puente de Alcántara. Ah, okay. Alcántara, Alcántara. The accent is over the first, the second A. Gotcha. <laughs> See, the interesting thing about this area, Toledo, it's a big mix. You were saying it's a mix of Christianity, uh, Judaism, and uh, Islam. Yes. So we're going to see that reflected in the different buildings and the, the different places to worship in here as well. And also the decorations. There's such a great mix and that's what makes this place so unique. But yeah, this is where our walking tour begins. Awesome, 
that looks like a really steep climb over there. Oof. Hopefully we won't be doing that one. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Get too close to the edges on this bridge. <laughs> or There's just look first. <laughs> spider webs. Look, helicopters. It's, it's hot, but I have to say, when I thought of Spain, this is what I was That's imagining. what you were thinking of? Let's start with the plaza. Plaza Socodover is where we're gonna go to from here. Plaza what? Socodover, with a Z. Oh, okay. It is 600 meters away, 11, 10 minutes. Look at that, 11 and 10 minutes, just like that. There's a climb. Be prepared. Ah, we did it. We did it. We still have a little bit more to go. Oh. Oh goodness. Whew. was a climb but we made it to the second stop yeah, the second of our walking tour stop. of Toledo all right what is this place Plaza Socodobar Socodobar okay so it's their main square here in Toledo and as we can see so one of the things to note Toledo is known for their marzipan is that how you say it in English too marzipan yeah so we'll have to bring some marzipan home from here, but already in this plaza, I spot two different places. There's this one, there's that one next to McDonald's. Looks like there's some uh, grocery, or not grocery stores, but like a CVS type of store. There's some restaurants. And this definitely is where all of the tours begin. We could almost just follow. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're doing all right by ourselves, though. We are. We know exactly where to go. Good. I have caught my breath. Should we check out the marzipan stores? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I, I don't know if you guys are seeing this. It's very windy. I need to control this hair. So in one of these stores, I'm going to have to find a hair tie. All right. Check out the shops.
everything. It's so good. We got some marzipans. Yeah. Oh, there's more than two. It said two on there. Three. First one. They're squishy. They are. Sure, but they're very fruity. They're really dense. Very sugary. Not fluffy at all. Just very dense, but I can't place a flavor on this one. Certainly delicious. Very sweet. If you got a sweet tooth, this is where it's at. Mm-hmm. Good way to wake up. Marzipan in Toledo. Yep. Santa Tome the name of the place. I am loving this area. European cities are fantastic, but when you go outside of it to these little areas, it's great. Minus the terrain, because that burns. And I can't feel my legs anymore. jello spaghetti. Wow. You know, on the way back home, or on the way back to Madrid, we really should stay awake and see <laughs> the terrain because I feel like a lot of it know, would be like this beautiful us. landscape and we missed you it. You fell asleep too? I was looking at the back of my eyelids the whole time. <laughs> it wasn't even that long of a ride. <laughs> <laughs> the moment we pulled out of the, the train station, I was out. Out. Until I heard the ding ding <laughs> that we were arriving. Everything for country. Oh, of course, up the hill. Yeah. Well, of course, that's where we're going. It's not time to go downhill yet. I mean, this, this is good news. That means at the end of the day, we'll be going downhill the whole time. Yeah, Something just to look forward to. Just roll me down. So, this is the Alcazar of Toledo. The Al Alcazar de Toledo. De Toledo. This is an imposing 16th century edifice, edifice and former fortified royal palace, now housing a military museum. But look at the structure. Yeah. We're talking 16th century. Remarkable. history of war and destruction uh, but is now but now has many modern and new installations it dates back to the roman times and played an important role in the spanish civil war starting from 1936. so they one of the tips that i'm reading is one of our favorite things to do in toledo is go to the top floor of the little coffee shop to enjoy one of the best views of the city i mean i feel like you get pretty good views just from here yeah i mean we're, we're really high up. How cool is this? 
it's top three already and we're crushing it here all right we are headed to our fourth spot and then maybe lunch afterwards we're detouring through this side street man this is so cool This is our fourth stop. I don't know that we're at the front, but you can still see it from here. Yeah. But this is a cathedral. And it has... The, the architecture has some Muslim influence. Yeah, so the Spanish name is Santa Iglesia Catedral Primada de Toledo. That's a mouthful. That's quite a bit. Hello, Sir Pup. Got to the front. Let's try to get closer. That is really nice. I like this one. Yeah. Look at the detail. Wow. Amazing. A little purse you got me in London. <laughs> Is this six? No, this is five. Five? Okay. All right, stop five. We are here in the Jewish quarter. I think this is where we're gonna try to get some food. There is a synagogue here that we can see. Yeah, I would like to check that one out. For the next stop when you're in Toledo, at the corner of the Jewish neighborhood, there is this church, and it's a Franciscan monastery. It is. It's San Juan. Oh gosh, I already forgot the, the whole name of it. <laughs> Uh, but San Juan Monastery, I think, is what we call it. Okay, so yeah. San Juan de los Reyes? Yes, San Juan de los Reyes. Ah. Absolutely stunning. So this is a Gothic Flemish church from the 15th century with ornate two-tiered cloisters now run by Franciscans. having a great time in Toledo hitting up all of these spots and I think we've got one more we do I love it because it's so close to this monastery I mean it's literally all within the same block yeah so we're gonna head back into the Jewish quarter to get this last stop let's see what it has in store for us
and there it is our last stop here in Toledo it is the synagogue here in the Jewish quarter we have our tickets to go in take a visit yeah this was nice and expensive it was only three euros per person so I just paid six euros so we can go in Right, so that was the synagogue and that was Toledo in a day. So if you're in Spain, somewhere close to Madrid or anything like that, I would highly recommend you go to Toledo. Yeah, it's just too easy to miss and you don't have to spend all day. You can do half a day and it's enough to see all the highlights there. Yeah, we did it. We gave ourselves six hours and we actually ran through everything and that's what stopping and photographing and reading and taking things in and walking the whole time and walking and we finished in four hours so we had two hours remaining and we just kind of hung out and yeah now we're at the airport we're headed back to the states for a little bit until our next journey which will be next week for you guys so stay tuned to see where we go next week i'm excited for it i'm super excited but this has been spain a wonderful time great experience great sights a lot of things to learn i loved it uh you know spain has my heart so i'm just thrilled to have been able to get back here again and show you everything that i've seen in the past all right well thank you everybody for watching this series and we'll see you on the next one bye